Sea of Thieves is coming to PlayStation. No, I am not kidding. This news just dropped, and I'll be honest, it's not something I had on my 2024 bingo card. I've always said that there was zero chance Sea of Thieves would ever be on another console unless Microsoft successfully brought Game Pass to other platforms. Something I did not think would ever, ever happen. Well, as it turns out, Microsoft seems to be rethinking their business strategy. They want to test the waters of bringing select titles to other consoles rather than the whole Game Pass catalog. I mean, money's money after all. And Microsoft knows that they lost the console war a whole generation ago. Even Phil Spencer has admitted this. So console exclusivity for specific titles isn't as valuable to them as it was, say, five years ago. This is a huge shift for Xbox, and I still can't believe that this is real. When you think about it, it just makes so much sense for Sea of Thieves to be the test dummy for this new direction. There really could not be a better game. A huge, successful, content-filled sandbox of goofy, fun, pirate adventures. If you're watching this video, you're probably as ingrained in the Sea of Thieves ecosystem as I am. And if not, welcome in. After having lots of concerns over the direction of the game, it's clear now Rare was focused on doing multiple foundational and quality of life updates to prepare for this big crossover. For the casual player, Sea of Thieves remains one of, if not the best multiplayer experience in the last couple of years. This is, without question, the biggest thing to happen to Sea of Thieves since it launched. Yes, even bigger than the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean crossover. This is basically launch day round two, and I really think this could be the renaissance the game has needed over the last couple years. We may even get some first party Sony cosmetics if we're lucky. Okay, so what does this actually mean for the state of Sea of Thieves? Well, a whole hell of a lot of new pirates, assuming crossplay is enabled. Expect a wave of swabbies on the seas mistakenly flying the Reaper's Mark, not knowing the difference between high seas and safer seas, or why you want their emissary flag so badly. If you are one of these new players, you're luckily in the number one place for SOT guides to get caught up to speed with how to deal with other pirates. PVP is always on. Now, unless you're playing the PVE only mode, which is a significantly watered down version of the game. I have a 50 video playlist of short to the point guides to get you started. Also stream every weekday at twitch.tv slash blurbs where we do things like this. What? I told you to stay. Get over here. I thought you were a good pirate boy. Go clean your room right now. So thanks for watching and good luck out there, guys.